Battle Saul, one of the best shows on television on AMC season two finale airs tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern time. And the gentlemen who put this on the air and who were also behind uh, Breaking Bad, Peter Gold and Vince Gilligan back here on the Rich Eisen Show. Good to see you guys. Great seeing you, Rich. You, are, you guys are putting together another great season on Better Call Saul. But one way to put it would definitely be slow burn. Yeah. You guys are taking your time here trying to get to what is what we're all wondering. What can you give us an idea of where you're leading well, all of us to? It's a, it's a bit of a bait and switch so far because the, the name of the show is Better Call Saul and we haven't seen a guy named Saul yet. We've, we've seen a guy named Jimmy McGill. Yes, and, we have. And, and, we're, and you're right. It's been a bit, bit, bit more of a slower slow burn than, than we yeah, would have expected. We would have thought that he would have been Saul Goodman by the end of season one. That was, that was what we had in mind. By the end of season one, he'd have the, the crazy office with the, with the columns and, the, and Francesca, his assistant, and he would be doing business. But uh, it turns out there's a lot more to say about Jimmy McGill than we know. Well, yeah. so, I mean, you're saying it in a way as if you can't control this sort you know, of thing and that's, here, I know, well, that, that, Vince and Peter. I mean, well, it, 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 it really, it's, it kind of works out that way. You mm -hmm. kind of, it sounds a little artsy fartsy, but you kind of, in the writer's room, when it's working well, you are letting the character tell you where he or she wants to go or, or, or is in that moment. And, and, and if you push too hard to reach some preconceived moment or a plot point or whatnot, you're kind of sometimes hammering a square peg into a round hole and you're not doing justice to the character. So this character tells us that he, it, 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 this character tells us that he wants to be Jimmy a little bit more as, 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 as goofy as that, that may sound, but there's really a lot of truth to it. But and it's interesting because, you know, oh, I'm sorry, Peter, You know, go Noah Hawley, I, uh, the showrunner of uh, Fargo, Fargo. Yeah. he pitched to me that we just never have him become Saul Goodman. <laughs> He said, you know, why, why not just, it's just, he just never becomes Saul Goodman. That's the twist. Keep playing it out. I yeah. don't, I don't think, I, I don't know if that would be satisfying well, in my book. I'm, you, maybe it would be for him. Well, you know, I, I love, I love that he said that. You know, we, the more we do this, the more we realize it's going to be kind of a, a minor tragedy when this guy does turn into Saul Goodman because he's, Saul Goodman is not as good a guy. He's not as likable. Well, here's the thing that I'm loving about it too being such a big, huge Breaking Bad fan, as so many of my listeners and, and, and the listeners and, and viewers of this show are, is that we are seeing all of these characters get into trouble and get out of trouble, in, in Better Call Saul. We're seeing them get into hot water and get out of it. And it's remarkable how we're also seeing some other characters from Breaking Bad show up, like the Salamancas have shown up. Um, we all know, though, that the guy who does them all in is this chemistry teacher yes. that had no idea he was going to turn into Walter White. Yeah. Each and every one of them mm -hmm. meets their doom from this guy yeah. who we're all waiting to see yeah. show up. Mm -hmm. And so we know that dot's out there. Yeah. And we're seeing these dots each week. The question is, how do you guys connect? Do you know right now how you're going to connect these dots? I at wish, all? I wish I could oh. say we'd <laughs> We've got a lot of dots <laughs> up on the board at work, and dots. they're not connected. Are you serious? You, you actually have a board, well, like a have, draft board we in have, sports up there? We have a board with cards with characters, and, and sometimes we'll put up, I don't know if we've it done it. It's kind of like a draft board. It is, it is. And then once, uh, sometimes we'll put up a bunch of questions, and the questions you're asking are really good ones for us, and hopefully we can answer them. And it's, it's a little bit like doing Rubik's Cube. Yeah, and it's, and it's one of these things where it'd be great to have the answers from the get-go, but, but you really are making it up week by week, and, and you're, you're seeing where the story takes you. And, and, like, you know, will we see Walter White? It'd be a darn shame if we never did uh, on the show, but, uh, but we're kind of finding our way through. Have you had conversations with Brian Cranston? Absolutely. Uh, and, and, and particularly uh, recently about him directing an episode, mm -hmm. because not only is he one of the very best actors in the world, uh, the best in my uh, biased opinion, mm -hmm. but uh, he's also a really good director. But he also might, he, I'm just assuming that he wants in as Walter White one more time too. Would that be a safe assumption? That Brian oh. Cranston wouldn't, you know, that I, he would like to just one more time? I don't want to speak for him because uh, he, he seems interested in the idea, but I, you know, he's just a sweet guy. Maybe sometimes he's being polite, I don't know. But I, I could see a, a version of this where it's like, you know, I, I don't want to do it again because because uh, I left it, I, I left it perfect. Why, why go back and why, why risk messing it up? But but, but the way you were doing this though, 
not to put any, like, you guys are the idea guys, but you know, I have some if you don't mind. Sure, sure. Yeah. But that's the yeah. beautiful, no, no, but that's, <laughs> a, beautiful, <laughs> no, that's a beautiful thing. Sure, but I got some ideas here. <laughs> that's a beautiful thing about this show is that maybe something happens um, between Mike and Saul or what have you. Yeah. And it's a major moment between these guys in the Better Call Saul plotline. Right. And Walter White just happens to be there pre finding out that he has cancer. Mm -hmm. Just happens yeah. to want. So it's not like he's recreating the character yeah. or detracting or risking detracting from what has already been made, right? Very good point. Very good point. Like, for instance, uh, you know, uh, if. if uh, you know, uh, uh, Jimmy McGill ever got his car washed and happened to get his uh, his tires uh, uh, detailed yes. by, uh, by Walter White. And, and Who knows? Now that's prior to the A the A one rebranding, right? Or did he ever did he rebrand it the A one? I don't think Is he changed the name. I think it was always called A one A. Okay, so A one A. A one A. Okay, so, that's right at the top of the phone. So the Russian is still in charge. Yes, that's Bogdan. Yeah. And Walter's yeah. and Walter's Walter's cleaning his tires. This is what I'm talking about. We gotta get him in the writer's yeah, room, man. This you know? is helpful. I this like the enthusiasm like, yeah, you're, you're, too. It's, oh, it's very helpful. My thinking. Oh, please. Do you want to talk enthusiasm? <laughs> Plus, because everybody assumes you you already are 15 steps ahead of everyone else too. Uh, we found on Reddit, okay, where everyone's talking about yeah. you guys, yeah. taking a look at the names of your. You guys are already <laughs> laughing. You've seen this before. The mm -hmm. name, the, the, what you have uh, entitled all the episodes mm -hmm. for season two of Better Call mm -hmm. Saul. That yeah. somebody took all the names. And this is not in any order, but just reconfigured it. And if you take a look at the first letters of each and every one of the episodes on season two, you can spell out Fring's back, as in Gus Fring. Wow. And everyone's assuming he might show up tonight in the season finale. What say you, wow. Peter? Do you want to take this? Well, to there's <laughs> you know, uh, I, I would say silence is definite. I would say that uh, we have the smartest fans around. You know, the, the, these these people are these people are kind of brilliant. Way smarter than we yeah, way them smarter to be. than we wanted to be. <laughs> uh, but having said that, you know, we don't want to raise uh, any specific expectations. You know, yeah. that can mean that phrase. Uh, if it were something that we put there, you know, could mean a few different things. I I wouldn't want people assuming too much mm -hmm. in one direction or the other. Uh, that character, Gustavo Frank, and I'm not making any promises in any way, shape, or form. But Giancarlo he, Esposito. Giancarlo Esposito, the wonderful Giancarlo Esposito, brilliant actor. Uh, he, he, the character that he played, Gus Frank, had a very long reach. So, so uh, even if you don't see well, him, he has he he may uh, his his he has a long he has a long reach. He has a cast a long. But shadow. Mike Ehrman Trout winds up working for him at some point. Right? That's right. Okay, yeah, and right. and so that dot's gonna have to get connected. It would be a, an amazing coincidence right. if those letters just happened to be. I would there. Be See, you guys are being too coy. I think. I think. I think, right. I think Reddit's on it. Not that I ever think that social media is yeah. onto something. I think you're being a little coy. Because I think they hit it on the head here. I, because I love you so much, Rich. Because yes. you're a good friend. Yes. I will admit to oh. the fact that uh, uh, because we don't have a deal with the actor yet. <laughs> Uh, we were we were hoping people wouldn't. This is what we call open kimono. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I I, uh, I I wish uh, sometimes I wish our, uh, our 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 fans were not as smart as they are. Well, or we were we were smart enough to or realize we how smart smarter. they are. Or we were. Yes, that's a good way. So we bury we bury things, but do we bury them deep enough? That's a good question. So it was intentional. Yeah. What the. <laughs> 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 You, nice. you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah! How, how much do Way you guys... to go. You should take credit for that sort of stuff. That's brilliant. Uh, it's brilliant. <laughs> Peter's going to kill me. <laughs> come he's, on, he's no. Punch me in the head. It's sort of going to you should out. take credit for that. <laughs> how much do you guys That's worry brilliant. about security, though, in shooting an episode? Obviously, you just said Giancarlo isn't booked yet, but if you were to shoot him or Walter White's character... Uh, how much do you worry about set location and security and that stuff being leaked? Because that wasn't a, a, an episode stolen out of Brian Cranston's car. That's an excellent yeah. question, Chris. And we worry about it all the time. Albuquerque is a small town. It's a it's a great town. It's a small airport. You guy comes through, a famous guy comes through. It, not that hard to put two and two together. So very good question. We we do the best we can. Yeah. And yeah, there was an episode uh, stolen out of Brian's car at one point. Luckily, I think it was literally some meth head who was not. 
who didn't realize whose car it was. Skinny Pete? Skinny <laughs> Pete? Did it could have been Skinny, skinny Pete. Pete broke in? It could have been Skinny Pete. It's a Brian Cranston's car. That's and incredible. Don't forget, though, that we we were pretty successful in keeping the news of Raymond Cruz out of uh, out of the news. It's, it's, that that rhymes. Raymond Cruz uh, yeah. plays Tuco. Raymond Cruz is Tuco. Uh, we were, we were we so that. excited to have him back. And I, I think... Folks would come up to him and he would tell them he was in town for a Western. But it's just like Tuco Salamanca, Hector Salamanca, I can't wait to find out how he gets in the chair ringing the bell. Okay. We can't either. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, well, this is what's great. Do you have, well, you know, do you have a pitch? Yeah. 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 Give, yeah. Us, give it to us. Because the writers who might, might, might be watching now. They're, yeah. they're, they're, I don't want, uh, no, look, no one's going to ever hear footsteps from me on that front. But I'm just such a huge fan, and so is my wife, you know, uh, Susie, Susie, as you know. Yeah. Yes. And, and so we just, we're, we're just, we're locked in. We really, really are, and you've created this great thing. And then, and thank you also, because you can confirm from episode one of this year when you started in the present day, okay, yes. with with Saul Goodman, yes, that yes. that as he's cleaning out the garbage mm -hmm. in his current, you know, in it, well, the current day for the show, right? Yes. Okay, Cur yeah, it, it does for get the, confusing then, where his name is Gene and he right. works at the Cinnabon, right? Yeah. At Cinnabon, that he that some other member of the garbage staff, if you will, walks past listening yes. in the headsets. Uh -huh. and what What is he I'm listening to? I'm so glad to? you brought that That's up. Right. I, I would have been absolutely, we would have been remiss That's not right. to mention that you made an appearance on the, our first episode of Better Call Saul this season. That is that is your voice in the headphones that the, uh, that the janitor is 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 listening to it is mm -hmm. a radio headset. Yeah. He's listening to the Rich Eisen podcast. Absolutely, right. absolutely. From 2010. Absolutely, That's and right. we were in the and we were in the uh, mix stage. We're like, turn it up a little more. Yeah, yeah. seems Wanna a little loud. Sure now we, we gotta hear Rich. We I was gonna Rich. complain a little bit about the mix, to be very honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know what I mean? You we, know what? We can still when fix it. When you hear it. When you hear it on your regular TV at home, yes. it sounds really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I give a shout out to the mixers here. When yes. you eventually hear it on a, like a Dolby 7.1 system, oh. it's it, you're gonna be like, oh, I hear me real it's, good. It's like now. I'm back in the podcast room. Again. Yeah, it's, your it's, fans it's, are so fanatical though. We got hit up about that, and they were like, what date episode was that from? Because they no wanted way. to they wanted to pin down. Because when your people reached out, they asked for a, a timetable of that in met, this five the, months yes, And it meant period. like that's how meticulous you are. Now you you might sit here and play coy like, well, we don't really know this, we don't know that. You wanted something from 2010. You had you hit up law. You wanted a specific date yes. that matched with your timeline. That's right. That's right. With the Cinnabon. Yeah. Because version of Saul so somebody Goodman. recognized Rich's voice and knew that was from the podcast started bombarding us with what date was that episode when was yeah. it from and that's how that's how kind of hardcore the fan base is for God the show it's pretty cool are, God bless these people are really bright and 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 uh, as being coy a little while mm. ago we are happy the, the fans are smart as they oh, are good. and we should have well, we should have known we should have seen that you know and, that and, was too easy and what could be more flattering than have having someone pay such close that's true. attention yeah. and care so much well we do Thank you for coming on, guys. Thank you, Congrats Rich. in advance on another great season finale, and let's make this a tradition. I would love it. Season let's three is, is season three secured. Are you guys? We sad? are working on it. Our, our hopefully our writers, as we speak, are at Burbank, uh, a few miles away, working. Hopefully they're not doing like the, the you know, risky business with dancing around in their underpants. That's, I'm sure that, <laughs> that might actually be happening. And if it is, <laughs> stop doing what you're doing. Tom, put your pants yeah, on. Put your pants on. Gets now. right. Put your pants on. Chanel. Walter White is there as Saul pulls in to get his car washed. Come on. That, that would be pretty yeah. good. Just throwing it out. Just I'm not good. saying I'm just, that's, that's the sports phrase. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> Vince Gilligan, Peter Gould, right here on The Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.